Welcome to Dial Headlines. I'm Mary Lee. Thank you for joining us. In North Sumatra, Indonesia, Mount Sinabung erupted on October 5th and once again on the 9th and is still active today. The volcano spewed out a 2,500 meter high column of ash, which covered many nearby areas. In Medan, city volunteers took to the streets to hand out face masks to the residents, but first to Malaysia, where forest fires from Indonesia has worsened the air quality around the nation. We see how city volunteers there still continued their recycling work. For the past week, Malaysia has been troubled by severe air pollution. It's really foggy. The recent weather hasn't been really good. It doesn't rain all day, but it's just not good. Every year before the rainy season, farmers in the neighboring country of Indonesia will carry out soil preparation by burning their fields. However, the huge forest fires also cover the whole Southeast Asia with smoke. Despite the poor air quality, a group of volunteers in the suburb of Penang continues their good work. Today is recycling day. Many people said we should stay home on such weather. But for us volunteers, it doesn't really matter. It is great that we can give. The smog doesn't bother us because it is a worthy cause. Kima medical staff also remind everyone of the things to take note of in such an environment. The whole Malaysia is experiencing the smog. I don't think there is a direct increase in the number of patients, but we do remind our patients to minimize outdoor activities and to drink plenty of water. We need to advise people to stay indoors, especially those that are young children and those people with chronic disease like hypertension, asthma and uh, uh, diabetes, you know, chronic disease. Besides raising awareness of the weather conditions, Residents and volunteers all pray for rainfall, which will help improve air quality. Behind me is Jiraya village in Karo Regency. The volcanic ash and lava from Mount Sinabung had a direct impact on residents. In some areas, schools were forced to shut down temporarily. Situated in North Sumatra, Mount Sinabung erupted on October 5th and remains active today. The nation's Center for Volcanology and Geological Hazard Mitigation indicates that the volcano is currently in its third level alert. The clouds of ash from the volcano has covered areas of Mandan, affecting many lives. We have been calling on members of the public to wear masks because we don't know which direction the ash will spread and it is very detrimental to our health. As many residents were not aware of the harm caused by volcanic ash, Medad City volunteers took to the streets to hand out facial masks. I think it's great because where we live now is covered in ash. For those who need a mask, this is a meaningful activity. Though no words were exchanged, Tsuji's love and care is spreading through the streets of Medan.